Uh, let's do, we have some tips in the form of follow-ups, including, uh, or starting with one from listener Scott. He says, uh, back in Mac Geek Up 882, Jed asked about folder actions and you folks told him about Hazel. Um, if someone does not want to purchase Hazel though, Mac OS does still include folder actions, uh, by way of automator. You can create a folder action inside Automator. He says, I have several folder actions that I created uh, with various run functions like run an Apple script, run a JavaScript, run a shell script, and you can do whatever you want with the file once it lands in the folder. He says, one of my favorite folder actions is for my downloads folder. This is actually what Hazel sets up by default. So very interesting. Uh, He says, when a new file is added to the downloads folder, Automator runs a shell script that determines the file type and moves it to a folder, a subfolder in the downloads directory. Then I create a symbolic link in the downloads directory to the moved file so that I can find it quickly. That helps me keep the unwieldy directly directory somewhat organized and prevents me from getting caught. So I like that. Yeah, I, I you know what? I had completely, I had assumed, I, it wasn't that I had forgotten. I knew folder actions existed at one time. I thought they had been deprecated. I didn't think that they were there anymore. So this is one of my five things to learn. Thank you very much, Scott. That's great.